Wingy Boxing, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. <laughs> <laughs> I bumped into Junior Hitter Witter. What's going on, Junior? How you feeling, brother? I'm good. Talk to me about your fighter today, uh, uh, Cash. Um, I've known Cash for many years now. About 18, I think, when I met him. He was. Um, so, I trained with him down at Ingalls for a few years. Um, he left. He's been around training a couple of other people. Um, and then his dad's been training him all the way through. Then a couple of months ago, his dad passed away. Yeah. Um, I was helping out for a couple of months before that anyway. And then he asked me to become his trainer and take over and get him ready for this fight. So we're here at the Frankie Gavin uh, Bill Back Bound. I was going to pronunciation <laughs> wrong. Uh, card. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a big sort of card for him to sort of fight on, so to speak, on a, and uh, getting his name out there. He's got a big following. Where, where did that following come from for Cash Ali? Um, he's, he's always had a decent following down Birmingham um, from before. It's, it's where he's originally from. Um, his dad, obviously, were a boxer as well. Yeah. Um, so he's, that's just followed on from that. And it's, he's a popular guy, he's a lovable guy. Um, so, therefore, he's boxed, people have seen him, his, his style's good. He's had a bit of time out, but now he's, he's firing. I always have to ask these fighters when I see you guys, because uh, like, I've been watching you guys for a long time, and you're no longer boxing. Do you, do you ever get that, that little tingle when you see him? You, know, that little, you want to get in there and do a little bit of work? Do you ever feel like that? Of course I do. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if I didn't, I wouldn't love the sport, and I love the sport. Yeah. But I know the difference between being really fit and being fit. And I'm not fit, okay. never mind really fit. Okay. And to box at a level that would make me happy, I'd have to be really fit. There's no way I've got that dedication to get that fit again. So if I teeth that refreshing drink, then you could pop a few on me, but going in the ring pro, you're, you're not. No, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> it isn't going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I spar every now and then a couple of lads. Of course, yeah. um, a bit of body sparring, all nice, which is decent fitness, but even that. There's no way I could do the distance I used to do. <laughs> cool, no problem. So obviously I want to get your thoughts on the world away scene at the moment. What did you think about Ame Khan's return um, against Vargas? Did you um, think he looked all right? Well, <clears throat> I mean he returned against um, Flula Greco, but yeah. his last fight, Vargas, what, what, what did you think of that fight? It was terrible. <laughs> it, it looks sharp. It looks like a shot fighter. Um, he's got to consider himself, does he actually really want to fight? The fight out there for him is Brook. Yeah, Kel Brook and Kel Brook. Kel Brook will destroy him. Um, yeah, Kel's been in jail. I'm not, I'm not saying because I like Kel, I think Kel's the best thing on the planet because I don't. But realistically, Kel will absolutely destroy him. He will come out, he'll be flashy for a few, maybe a couple of rounds, maybe two, with the way he boxed his last one. And then he'll get knocked out cold. What did you think of the talk of Mayweather Pacquiao, too? Have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> I know Mayweather timed it right with the Canelo GGG, but for those who don't know, he was in the club, he bumps into Pacquiao. Do you think it's all yeah. talk? Do you think it could happen? And how do you think it would play out? Of course it could happen. The money that they're talking about is ridiculous, and we know money makes the world go round. Money talks, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, could they do it, yeah. Um, I don't know how it's going to play out, because Mayweather was shocking on his last fight, absolutely diabolical. Yeah, the standards what Mayweather has, yeah, and he's had, he was diabolical. Um, granted, he didn't try. It was an easy, it was an easy fight. Just give me a load of money. It was that. So has he got it in him to get back to what he used, what he should be? I don't know. And I just, at the minute, I think it's just talk. Um, if you're Pat Man, of course you want to fight. He's nowhere near the level he was at, but he's at a much better level than what Mayweather was in his last fight. Yeah. Okay, if Junior hit a winner, could go back and just relive one moment from your career, what would you just have again? Oh! Got you there. <laughs> nah. You see, if you're going identical performance, it's Vivian Harris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you're talking, go back and change your life and box the, the perfect fight, it'd be Zab Judah fight. Zab <laughs> Yeah, because really, that fight could have changed my world. Yeah, of course. So. It did anyway. Because it taught me what I needed to be, how good I was, how quick I was. At the level, I mean, it was super sub was the best he ever was. Yeah? And he couldn't take me out. Yeah? yeah? Um, and I had, what, nine days to prepare. Now, if I'd have prepared right, got the mental state right, I could have beat him. I would have beat him. But it didn't happen. You're talking, if you want to talk about fights that I would have liked to happen, there's two. 
Mayweather, when I should have boxed him for the world title, because that should have happened for the like, ultimate world title. I was mad at him for nine months. And then, of course, Hatton fight. You beat me too. <laughs> everybody wanted Hatton fight. It was, it was one of those fights. It is one of one of the most anticipated fights that has never happened. Yeah. But Styles made fights. He didn't want it. That's just the way it is. But the Mayweather fight for me, realistic was a was a more challenging fight, and it was a fight I'd have got my teeth into better. I tend to live in a fantasy land. I love living in fantasy yeah, land. It's great, better than reality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If Ricky Hatton boiled down, called you out. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> right. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, of course so. Of course it would happen. <laughs> What's the state of boxing in 2018 since you've retired? How's boxing changed? Is it for the better? Or are you liking the, the, the situation of the game right now? Um, the mad situation which has changed over the last, well, especially over the last 10 years, but the last five years, is social media. This side of it is absolutely phenomenal now, whereby you don't have to have Frank Warren sat there giving it this I'm your hype man I'm gonna hype you there's no Eddie Earn's job is so much easier than it ever was than when Frank Warren did it because the fighters are having to do it themselves they're choosing to do it themselves they're hyping the fights they haven't they've got a platform where they can say how good they think they are and I never had that yeah if your promoter like my promoter yeah, at the time wasn't on my side no one got heard about me yeah then when it actually ch when they choose to, you can get some hype. Now you can make your hype when you want to. So you can hype yourself. That platform for the boxers is brilliant. Yeah? There's a little bit too much of your WWE stuff, but realistically, it's so much better for the fighters. A table flip or two is alright though, isn't it? A bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and if I was going to tell the, the, the younger listeners of IFL, not, not aging you brother, to go back and watch the fight you'd want them to see, what one would you say? Vivian Harris. Uh, yeah, I was... Definitely Vivian Harris. Um, I boxed a kid called Giuseppe Lari. That was a brilliant performance as well. Um, for the time when it was, who he had beat, who would, the role he was on, yeah. that was another good performance. There's been many good performances that were underrated. I boxed a guy called Jan Bergman in my 10th fight. Now, Jan Bergman at the time was number three in the world with the IBF. He was his warm-up type for his world title fight. He'd had 35 fights, 30, no, 35 fights, 34 wins, 27 knockouts. I'd had nine fights, stopped two, drawn two, six-rounder. That's a fight that, for me, shows the level I was at right back the way then. You know, it's great speaking to you because I can still see the passion, man. I can still see the passion. You give uh, me and a lot of people a lot of entertaining nights, brother. And uh, thank you very much. Hopefully, one time we can sit down and have a proper, proper one-to-one uh, -one conversation. Right? Yeah, but I've got my gym now. Um, I've got, I've got amateurs coming through. I've got a couple of pros. I've got a pro just gone pro today called Dominic Hunt. Um, I've got Cash Alley. I've got, an, I've got another one um, in Sheffield, Chris Dutton. So I've, my stable's building and. I'm going to be around in this game for many years and it's just, I'm going to be flip, the flip side of the ring. Other side of the ring. Right yeah. Cool. Thank you for speaking to Wingy Boxing, IFL TV, Junior. Pleasure to speak to you, so we'll catch up again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.